welcome to episode 43 of Reptiles and Cocktails. And today is a very special episode for me. Like I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing an interview with, you know, those of you in the chat who know who Keys Constrictors is, who Keisha and T is, or Terrence or Terry, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's my brother. Um, that's my sister. And y'all know, don't, don't, know my, don't nobody mess with Keisha. Can't nobody mess with Keisha. Um, it's exciting to be able to interview them personally. And this is like going to be a real interview. This is not going to be Nicole talking to you. T, we talk a lot, dang it. He probably know more about me than you guys ever would, especially when it comes to my temperament and me popping off, because that's the first person I pop off to. Because I can. He has a way of, and I'm going to talk about this doing, doing the show, like truly loving people where they are. And and it's it's actually like rubbed on to so many people and some people who I never thought it would rub on to. Like the man is magical. And I know he's just being him. Like he's just being him. Keisha's just being Keisha. But that unit, the man, the woman, and them together are a magical group of people. And when I say that about people, guys, it's not just words. People who know me, my family, my friends, people who work for me will tell you that I'm not big on people. So it's certain ways that I can love you and love you from a distance. I can love you and I can love you up close. But there are people that I will ride or die for. Um, there are people who see me throw on the hoodie and, you know, come out with a dog for. And real people who can testify to that. Then I don't do that just for anybody, but them too. Um, I'm riding out for like that. And it's because they ride out for so many of us. So. I'm going to go ahead and kick out that intro. You know, my video, I love that video. I'm going to go ahead and play our video. And then next, I will be bringing on our guests. Stay tuned, everybody. The chat is blowing up. Um, so let's do this. Let me shout out the chat a little bit first. And then, no, I'm going to play the video because I want T to be able to shout out the chat. Because I just love when he do it. So I'll play the video and we'll be back. those videos that video is highlights from Tenley um I told was Tenley very specifically which has become my favorite reptile show of, of all time so far um that was just an epic epic time um having um Jaffe in town King Austin Kai like it just D it was just crazy and of course you know the normal usual suspects were, were there but it was just amazing and so those were just some highlights and one of my favorite things about that video is my husband's position in the pictures there are pictures that i'm not in that he's in so that's a clear sign that he has also embraced my family so it is just so dope to see that like it's a picture with him pat and um austin that he has is just like, wow, like, you know, when did this happen? And I love that. I love that because if you hear me talk about him, that's when I know he's comfortable. So 
No further ado, I'm bringing on our guest, Terrence and Keisha. Terrence what up, what up, what up? T and Keisha. And what I'm going to ask right now, what do you prefer to be called? Oh, whatever um somebody's more comfortable with, man. Now, like, how do you how do you view me? Because I feel like um the different names is just different parts of my personality, you know what I'm saying? So Terry, Terry, that's 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 my family name. So like people call me Terry, I feel like they, they okay. want to be part of my family, you know what I'm saying? T, that's that dude, you know what I'm saying? That's that dude. And um Terrence, Terrence is all about business. I call him Terrence. I, I definitely will say that depending on what my mood is, is what I call you. It's T, it's Terrence when I'm like really, really like like upset about something or something serious. Um, Keisha, we call you Keisha, but I call her Keish. You know, I just like that. You know, that was the, um, Keish, that's what yep. they called her. And what was that? New Jack City. Was it? <laughs> yeah. And they, you know, she was just like, she was like the, 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 the woman, you know, and they called her Keish. So I like to call her Keish, but Together is keys constrictors. And what I will say is if there was a relationship that I'm most surprised about from the moment that we met. So let's let me tell y'all what my first well, Terrence, you tell them what was the first encounter with us personally. Not realizing that okay, I add men a group that they were members of, but outside of that, like what was the first time that we actually connected? And then I'm gonna talk about how we got to here. All right, um, about a about a year ago, we um, we we got a snake, uh, uh, a clown snake, and we had a, a competition for name the snake, and Nicole was the winner of that snake. So um, yeah, we sent her some swag, and that was our, our first encounter. So that was uh, one of our first recipients. That our very first contest winner was Nicole. <laughs> I knew of you. I knew of you. I recognized you, but we had never spoken. So that was okay. really dope when you won. And it's called so Pennywise, and, you know, and he's right upstairs. I was going to say, and I named him Pennywise, and if anybody knows me, I am terrified of clowns, specifically Pennywise. Like, and But that was like the perfect name for the clown. And that was the first time that I can remember being honest, seeing a clown that looked that color. Like, you know, all the other clowns, were, you know, were out there. So the first time they seen a, a clown that looked that color and Pennywise just like stuck out right away. I had no idea I was going to win, though. I just, look, I'm scared of clowns. The thing was like a clown, <laughs> Pennywise. And so then when I won, and then I started to realize that you guys had just started doing videos at that time, actually. I think I probably was on YouTube, but probably a little, a year longer than you were. And I remember Keisha... I ain't gonna, and this is no dig, Keisha. Keisha. Keisha was doing a rap video. <laughs> Supposed to be. <laughs> well, no, it was a video. That oh, the rap, the, the rap was a long video. 30 minutes. Yeah, minute video. Okay. yeah I was like, oh, that's super dope. And then I'm like, oh my God, and it's a couple, because at first I thought y'all were our siblings, because it was just the vibe was so like cool. <laughs> and then I realized, I'm like, oh no, they're a couple. I was stuck. Because I think that was the first couple I saw. I don't know why I see so many couples now. No, you know, no big to anybody else. You know, that was the first couple that mm -hmm. I saw. And maybe because it was the first black couple, I kind of like visualize it more. But I swear it was the first couple. Anybody in the chat, y'all can tell me if it was. Yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see any more until uh, afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> not me. I'm like, I, so I was stuck. And then... Like Keisha was like always a little, you know, behind the camera and then it was Terrence. And I thought mm -hmm. that was pretty cool too. But then we get to like, you know, hair down starts. And literally I felt so great about that place. Like I, I everybody on the panel, all the guys, and I say this to that crew in the background, the respect that they have for women, you know, regardless of, you know, language used or whatever, whatever, we are respected. Like, it's mm -hmm. like this different people from different parts of the earth all put together into this little bubble and, and that bubble rocks. And and I'll share a story um, with turns because I, it, it, I'm not good when you introduce new people to me. Like, I, that's one of my flaws. I tell anybody that. It's hard for me to love on people. Animals are easy. Give me 18 retics, 18 people, I'm wrong. And I was uncomfortable 
at a point. And I remember reaching out to Terrence in a way that you handle things. So I'm going to start with you on this. Somewhere in life, you were humble. And you were humble to a point where you saw people, because you always talk about, I know it's a balance. Like you had a, you had a, you didn't have a peaches and cream life. So it didn't come from having the best life ever. You know, some mm -hmm. people feel like that's what makes you a better man or a better woman is money and how you were raised. I'm a person who believe that the best of the people in the world who really changed lives, including Oprah and Montel Williams were from the hood. <laughs> so, don't do the struggle <laughs> for real right or you know the slaves or somebody who went through really really hard things but something in life humbled you that made you see people differently um and not gonna say without flaw because we all have our breaking points but you can see the best in anybody up front up front where did that gift come from or where do you feel that life-changing experience occurred that's God, straight up, uh, the universe, and I don't care. I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person, so I don't like have a belief in any one religion because I just can't see how that can even be possible. You know what I'm saying so. I just believe in doing right, doing the right thing at all times, no matter what it is. If you can do right, do right, with regardless of uh, what you're gonna get out of it. Like, don't do right because you might get something out of it. I don't believe in the fair factor. Like, oh, you do wrong, you're going to hell. Nah, you just do the right thing regardless of the situation. And um, I, I got this, I got this innate ability to to feel people, mm -hmm. feel energy, read people. I read people very well. And so uh, it's, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift. I, I like to say I'm borderline psychic. She'll tell you, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's real crazy. So it's, it's a gift from God I got. So reading them well. That's one thing, but you can read, and again, because we talk, like you can read it and see the person flaws and still see the perfection in that person. Where did that come from? Because see, for me, and you know this, it's like, oh, hey. oh it's still, and you know what? Like, I, I, like, I'm not a, like, I, I go, I got this, I got this, um, uh, amogram, um, Angels and Demons, like, because okay. I, I, like, there's, there's, there's a balance in life, good and bad. You know what I'm saying, and like I've been through it. Like I, I I've been through it. You know what I'm saying, and so and I got the ability to to have empathy. Like the key in in life is empathy. I know how to put myself in people's situations. I've been in so many crazy, crazy situations. I can guarantee, I've been in situations something similar to yours that I can relate to. It might not be exactly, but I can pinpoint it and I can feel that and I can get that out of you. And I know, like, all right, so this person might be like this because of this, because of that. All right, I can work with that. Because they also, I can see the good. I see, okay, this person like this. So if I can just help get this, this, this good out of them and help come to an understanding of why this person like this or help of uh, just, just any way to help decrease that and bring out the good. Yeah, that's that's what I, I try to do with, with most people. Some people, there's just like, there's no helping, you know what I'm saying? But, you, know, <laughs> you try, you try. And um, like I'm I'm in the school for psychology. Like, I don't know if you know that's what my degree is in. So okay. I've always been fascinated with the way people think. Always. I used to always like always wonder what, what people think. And I I've been like um like growing up, I was in a bunch of groups. I was uh I, I played basketball, I played football, I played sports, I, I did music. Um I, I was in, in, in the church for a while, like like for for a while. Um, and so I was into a lot of different things with a lot of different people and, and everything that I did, I, I probably, um, like I got close with somebody in that group. So I always, and, and so I had all these different people, the groups that people wanted to hang with me. So my place was always, always like Switzerland. So everybody that wanted to hang with me from different groups, like, I, right, even though y'all would never ever meet each other in any other circumstances, y'all want to hang out with me. We all got to hang together. It's been like that my entire life. And like I still got groups of people that that like different gangs or whatever. They still oh T, we all got T in common, we all got love for T. Ain't ain't no beef here. So this is like it, Well, it's, I can tell you it's real because um the man I'm married to you can tell you it's not easy to sway my very hard opinions. Um, but I can tell you that it's been so many encounters and it reminded me of I tell him how 
his his grandmother, my grandmother in law, had that way with me. And I always tell the story of one day that I just was gonna beat the sh out of his baby mother. And I, my mind was made up. I was gonna run a mile. He took the car keys and everything. And I get to the corner and I call my grandmother in law. She said, "No, that's not what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do is pray." And I'm like, "Grandma, I ain't praying for nobody." Next thing I knew, I was on the corner of wine is an old court road praying, like praying for somebody that I, at that particular point was, I just, it was no love for. And I can tell you in our personal encounters, um, that you definitely have a gift because it's not easy to shift in the Gemini mindset. <laughs> like when the evil, especially when the evil twin is on. And mm -hmm. I will say in that gift and riding that wave and that gift with you, I have found love for people that I never would have probably loved if you did not kind of like leave the bridge. You know what I mean? Like if you was that friend that was like, you're right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like cut her off. Well, cut her off. That would be, but you listen. And sometimes we see things, you know, we, we share mm -hmm. things that we see, but I'm stuck on the flaw. And you have seen this, the greatness in the person past the yeah, flaw. You, and you, for that, I love you. Because I'm telling you thank that you, thank you, you. You, you put some awesome people in my place that would not be in my place because of who I am, like the flaw in my person, because that's a flaw too, to not see, you know what I mean? Because you got your own flaws, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's it's thing like you surround yourself with 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 people that 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 complete you because there's stuff stuff that I lack at like straight up like I might not know that I lack there until I like like oh you meet somebody oh man right. like you make me better right so and I, I know I can help you like like I bring I can bring a lot to to the table with just the way I think the way my mind works so it's like. We got such a group, good group of people, and like I, I see people, I really see people, and it's like you, you know how I feel about you. So yeah, and, and then you know, Keisha, Keisha don't, Keisha didn't like Keisha. people. Like she, she could say she's like. Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. Keisha. So it's Keisha, because for me, my husband is you, and I am. Yeah. Me, right. So, that, but but you I'm can't kidding. see that in Keisha. So that is my question for Keisha: Are you the other one that's like, mm, fuck that? <laughs> I want to say I want to say this before I forget my uh, first reaction to you and your husband. I sat there and I silently watched you come up to the table and you were like a bright light, just saying hi to everybody, partying, dancing, talking to everybody. And your husband was right there. He was, you know, kind of quiet. He was kind of feeling everybody out. He was watching. He was, you know, saying, hey, what's up to everybody for the first time. And I was watching y'all too. Like, that just reminds me so much of me and Terrence, you being, you know, like Terrence and me being like your husband. It was, it was so dope to see how supportive your husband is to you and your personality. And it's taken me a while to, you know, understand that this man is, people are going to love him. I love him. So I understand why. So it, at long time ago, when we was younger, that was very, very, very hard for me because I'm very <laughs> territorial. But I see how much good that he does, and I see how much you know he brings out of people. So I mean, this just was, let him this do is, what he does. Is, I've been like this. This is this. It's like everything I've done, and it's just like crazy. It, I used to tell Keish before because, like, I don't think like how like it's just a person. I don't, I don't want to sound sound cocky, but like, but you say, yo, I don't know. The way I am, how would this transfer over to camera? This is like years ago because it's like okay. the way people are were always gravitate towards my yo, this is cool. Like, like damn, the way people act, like damn, what's like if it would work if I was on camera or some shit? And like, how could people be able to feel that energy that that you know I give out? Well, it's just like in any, any other relationship, you know, everybody's not going to draw to it. But let me tell you that one of the most impressive things that I've noticed. Um, there are people who deny the energy a year ago that clings on to the energy now. And I find it as a positive thing. And you know that, you know how I feel about it, you know, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what you really want. You, if you want to, we can say we are great and we are this and we're that. The truth is in the change that we can do or make into other people, especially the impossible change. And 
I love how, and this is something that we get to have dialogue about. Um, you're open to that. Like, cause that's the one thing I am open to. Although I can see people flaws, I can also acknowledge the change or the, or the, the, the evolution, you know, yeah. people have to evolve from who they are. Um, same thing with mine. And as I talk and as we talk flaws, y'all, it's not that we don't have them. I can I can tell you what, what most of mine are, um, honestly. Some of them I'm not willing to work on, but there's other ones that, you know, I never never thought that I would ever be able to mature through. And I, I my husband, I give him a credit for a lot of the, the women I am today. I would not be as great of a woman I am today, if it wasn't for Man, one of the worst tempers ever. I'm still, work <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. Like, I'm really working on it. But it's, it used to be so bad. <laughs> but it's funny, like, Keisha, I would never see that possessiveness that you talked about. Or you were ever, like, <laughs> never, ever. And I'm talking about even before the usual suspects. So that is his. Yeah, terrible. he came a long way. Like, he was telling, he'll tell you, I've come a long way, too. We both have. Yeah. Because you know, I'm still very much like that. Like you, I'm not. I'm the way you approach my husband, and, and I is a quick. Is a quick. Like if I if I feel like you, your approach is wrong, <laughs> like it's quick. But I I wouldn't have never ever ever because not only do you have to share him with all these unknown women, but you ain't got to worry about them because then you know all of us exist. You know, and you know the crew, the people in the chat, right? <laughs> but. Also, men, and, and let me tell you, sometimes men are, no offense, more to manage, like, or, or more energy driven than women. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? He so you got the this person who everybody flocks to with every question, every concern. And I, I mean, this Ooh. is from my perspective, because I can just tell you that I know that multiple of us communicate outside of our, you know, our extra chats, and, he, and he's at work and doing everything else, just with regular life questions or, you know, vice versa. Like, we bounce stuff off each other. So, for you to say that, y'all, that's something that nobody else in the chat would have ever picked up, but that's real. Ooh. That's real, because most women, because it ain't, the celebrity hasn't gotten there yet don't know how to share their space right yes. i can tell you my husband is not big on sharing that space he is with y'all like people he comfortable with mm -hmm. but that's one of the reasons why we're not in the screen together because like the chat that be going on and somebody just say something innocent that he's interpreted somewhere else like this would be a whole <laughs> different show so to be able to sit side by side and not just you guys but any other couple who does that as a couple and grow towards a, a, a level of celebrity. And let's, I know he hates the word, but the reality of it mm -hmm. is you are not the same keys constrict as you were a year ago in this hobby. You know, maybe not at Macy's and, you know, any place else or Chick-fil-A, but here in the reptile community, mm -hmm. when you say- Antoine said it um, at, at Daytona or, or Tinley, so you got to learn to grow into your celebrity. I'm like- I feel like- I feel like he has been working towards this. Like whether we knew a year ago or two years ago that this is what he was going to be doing, it feels like everything was leading up to it and just his personality is it, it's a match. Like not only does he love the animals, he's, you know, okay with being in front of the camera. He's great with pulling people together and it just all falls in a place where it just works out and it seems like it's something that was meant to be i can't imagine him doing anything else i can't imagine us doing anything else at this time like what will we be doing on a saturday what will we be doing every wednesday night like, watching tv <laughs> yeah, playing yeah. Games, day, day. having our own pets because we love animals you probably saw our camera moving because of you know, our cat was, you know, pulling on stuff. So we would have been, you know, doing what we're doing now, but it just been me and him. We wouldn't be sharing it with y'all and we love sharing it with y'all. Well, I can tell you that it's definitely um, made a shift. You know, we've seen a lot of shifts in the community, but this has been, I think, one of the most impactful ones. Um, I can tell you that prior to Hair Down, there was not a live chat like Hair Down Fridays. It, it just wasn't. Um, and for some of us, like I said, our Fridays changed. I can't tell you the last time that I've been out on a Friday. Like, yeah, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been a, a year now. 
crazy. It's crazy. And it's crazy. So like when when we came up with the show, like first first for balls and things, when I did balls and things, I was I was um I was uh, I was talking to you know, I just like did a poll in the chat, like man, I, I wanna do do something different. I wanna bring everybody together, not just ball pythons. So I think like there's it's a big community, like different um different breeders, different reptile people, different reptile people, and it's just like it, it's it's separated. Like I need I want to change that. So right. I like I got an idea. I'm gonna do I'm gonna start interviewing breeders, and I don't care what they breed. That's why when we first did it, we did um uh the French bulldogs and and uh spiders and spiders and 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 bearded dragons. So it's like I want to get a community, a real community. So once I did a couple shows, I was like, yo, this is dope. I want to um, I want to do another show just just to have fun. I'm like, but I don't want it to be like business, man. I want it to just be like casual Fridays. So I was like, mm-hmm. casual Fridays, man. I can't do casual Fridays. I just want to chill, let my hair down. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Let, uh, hair down Fridays. And I asked, asked a couple of the homies. I'm like, yo, what's good? Anybody want to want to be down? And our first show was New Year's Eve, so I wasn't sure who was going to be on it, but they came through, and that was how the usual suspects was born. Yeah, and then and it was the whole turn the smurfing started. No, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Drop your drink, drop your link, drop your link, drop your link, man. Drop your link. Yeah. It just became a thing. Like drop your link. Much love, positivity, yeah. Yep. That's 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 what it's became. And then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, one of my favorite things of hair downs is the snakes. And of course, they are, you know, we all all different levels uh, in the community, but Hair Down has the most amazing breeders that come on, you know, known in a cut, popular, non-popular, like, with the most amazing snakes, like t- Tyler. Tyler was the first, I didn't know Tyler until Hair Down, mm-hmm. and that, th- think he's one of the coolest kids mm-hmm. in existence, yeah. and he's a good representation of had our parents told us when we were younger how how wealthy he could be. Man, I wish, I wish, mm-hmm. I wish I was that kid. <laughs> Man, damn. Exactly. <laughs> And then like yep. Justin, you know, Justin Cox, like Justin oh, yeah. from Pipeline, like just the, th- these people, two to three years with the education and when it, it's some of the most intelligent dialogue that you're going to have on reptile breeding that's a occurring on hair downs, hands down, hands down. Yeah, when I'm just in awe, like listening, I'll be sitting on the couch right there and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm in awe you, I'm in awe you. Derek, Justin, everybody, when y'all just get to talking about the animals, it's just like, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And it just made me, it makes me so proud that I'm surrounded by these people who they have the love for it, but they also have the knowledge and they're able to share it with other people. And on a regular basis, it's just, it's just so dope to me. I just sit back every once in a while. And just watch you guys. And we became a, a, a family, man, which was right. dope. dope. Right. Um, which, you know, the biggest sign of that was, um, you know, when you guys experienced the tragedy. And how much all of us learned from that, even including myself. 32 years, I never even thought to get the push things. Okay, we got out thermostats. Some things will work 110% of the time. So many people laughed um at the fact of the the things that, that happened along the way that taught us things that we just didn't even think about years ago. Like, I mean, I was the first one who had the heat rock um, years ago for my ball pythons, right? Yeah. Then something happens, somebody's ball python gets burned, and then we figure it all out. Yeah. But if there was ever an indication of family, and I think that's when I realized how close we all were. Um, and actually, it was Kent who reached out to me and, you know, we talked about what happened and people always say that people are going to do what they want to do for good people. I can tell you that even down to the vendor that I use up in Boston, like the, the, the kindness that exuded out amongst the family during that time was just absolutely amazing. Um, like we all knew that we couldn't replace that loss. Like there was nothing 
no, no nothing like none of us you can't replace the loss of, of even one animal right so we knew yeah. we couldn't but when I, if i if i if i want to say this if i had to go through that i would want to want it to be treated the way that you were yeah um, the way thank y'all all for that you so like no forget us like that we should have like that's how I'm talking about other people outside of even that little group. Like that was one of the first times I really saw the true love and oh. without, you know, yeah. advertising and nothing. Like yeah. we, we didn't talk about it. Remember? Like, yeah. 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 We didn't talk about it. And that love came from everywhere. And then I think that also your your um resilience through that taught so many people so many things i know me and mike um from her collectors always talked about i think we both changed our um thermostats and our um we got the little push things i never yeah. had those 32 years never even thought but now you're mm -hmm. breeding so with that said i would say for me when i decided to i uh, breed ball pythons hair down became a jewel for me and let me tell you and i don't know if everybody else in the chat uses it the same way there are certain conversations that I can remember that happened around this episode about an egg-bound snake and what did Mike do? And, you know, um, KG said that he's, he paired this particular female at this particular age and she's five years old now. She's, you know, those type of things. It's educational. And so outside of Terrence and Keisha, did you ever think that it would become so big that it would become the platform that it is to like literally educate new breeders? That's, it does that. It's a, it's a, it's a catalog for new breeders. No, I didn't expect that at all. Like, no, nah, it was just like, all right, I knew that we, um, something's going to be said, like, like there's going to, there's a reason, there's a reason for everything, like, like everything is a reason behind it. I don't wasn't exactly sure what the reason was behind. I figured like there'll be a message given, like at least I wanted there be a message given each and every episode. And it that did come to fruition. Is is plenty because I'm learning. I learn something every time. Every Friday I'm learning a lot. Just like I know we, we talk a lot, we go off, we, we we have a lot of fun and we make jokes and we, we talk about everything, but listen up, you will learn something every single Friday. I can promise you that. No matter how long you've been in the game. What would be cool is if, like, look, Keisha's like, don't be creating no work for me. After each episode, like, if somewhere you we can highlight something that happened in that episode, like, like something very specific that talked about, like, egg bounds, for example, that is a topic that there's not a lot, really, honestly, yeah. on YouTube about it. I don't know why people don't want to talk about it because apparently, from the the people I talk to, the breeders I talk to, is something that happens, you know, yeah. and it happens more than often. Um, but if like the way that certain people go in and, and I use Mike up in, um, uh, uh, you know, big Mike, 21 century Mike, he goes in such details about things that occur that for new breeders, literally you can just sit there and listen to him and write it all down. And you got, your, you got maybe not your scientific answer but you got the thing that you should do to help your mm -hmm. animals survive. mike writes everything down too he got like a million mm -hmm. books he yes. writes everything down that man yes. he is super intelligent um big d um there's so many things that you know he talks about um on hair down and also on his show you know it's just so much dialogue that's out there now for new breeders but when it comes to you and keisha the dynamic of the marriage. So let's talk about that, the relationship, right? So Keisha listens to your vision and we didn't know Keisha was stubborn. We know now, but like, <laughs> how did- Yeah, she stuck, like she didn't like, she didn't like balls of things. She didn't like hair down Friday. She didn't like, I like- He's wrong. He's not saying that right. When he said the name, I was like, oh, balls and things? I was like, <laughs> okay, all right. And it took me a while. It may take me a while. But yeah, like it's gonna like trust me. It's gonna work. It's gonna yeah. work. <laughs> I trust him 
I trust him a good 95% of the time. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's really yeah, good for 5%, me. That's 5% I was working. She'd be mad at me. She'd just be mad at me. Like, she's going to do it. Like, she, she, she's, she's, a soldier. She's, she's a soldier. She's going to do it. She'd be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> But then that's the thing. 99.9% of the time. And the, the thumbnails, like the thumbnails, like she do dope thumbnails, but first we just had the same thumbnail. I'm like, babe, nah, we're gonna we gonna switch it up. Like each one gotta be particular for that guest. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was that one was rough for me. Oh, yeah. that, the, that first thumbnail design was my baby, man. When I tell you, I put so much into it. And then with his idea of switching it up, like I love it because I get to, you know, play around every single week and, you know, try to find something that's gonna fit for each, you know, different show, each different logo. And I'm a little bit of an artist. I don't do it as much as I should. I want to get back into it. So that has become like a really big outlet for me. So I'm really glad he made that suggestion. So with that, we know that you've done a lot of things outside of what you do for Keys Constrictors, just out of the kindness of your heart or, you know, people reaching out to you. And, you know, I keep telling you that it's probably something you should think about as a business, you know, because I think you're way more talented at it than, like, you know, at first it was doing it for Terrence, but you've done it for other people. Like, you helped it. I think you have Angie with Kelsey Balls with theirs, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes... Sometimes I'll see things and mm-hmm. it's none of my business, but I'll inbox somebody and say, Hey, not, not them specifically like, Hey, your your something is a little off. Can move it over a little bit or um, use a transparent, you know, PNG instead of a, a GIF and a, a, it's going to look a lot more, a lot cleaner. Or I just make one for someone and I just make it and say, here, you, if you like it, use it. If you, if not, I was just playing around. Or if you have suggestions, you know, I'll tweak it for you. And, you know, sometimes people, you know, really like it and they use it. And that's why I do it. Thirsty Thursdays. She, does a, she did a Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty Thursdays. I'm very, very proud of. Yeah. That's, I love well, everything. Well, better you know, than some of our stuff. Every like, time what? I see his show, I'm like, damn, that's Derek? nice. Yeah. And I don't have that. I don't have that like, damn, I should have used it for ours. He might. <laughs> but like, I'm like, I can see that as, you know, something I did, something I worked on. So when I see it, I'm just like, oh, that's nice. But, um, yeah, I think it's something that I'm going to start, you know, getting into a little bit more. Because, like I said, I I have uh, really, really let, you know, my artistic side, you know, sit dormant for way, 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 way too long. So. She picked up on that stuff so quick. It was like, oh, I'm amazed. Like, that first that first video, like, what she did with the editing, I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Yeah, I mean, and then, like I said, she's always giving out the tips. And I love Thirsty Thursdays. Um, now you do all of that at the same time you are a mother um, you guys drive the kids back and forth to school so this is stuff that you don't see behind the scenes this is stuff that I'm like talking to Terrence on the other side like damn they doing that too like, <laughs> like how do you I know Tuesday was supposed to be the days that you guys never ever supposed to go online that kind of falls off the wayside sometimes every now and then with people's schedules sh- switching up and things like that how yeah. do you create that balance though between the snakes the kids the work uh trial and error Us. <laughs> it's it's um it's a lot sometimes i know at one point like he was watching youtube every single night and i was watching it too and we would watch it together sometimes and i'm like okay damn now it's bedtime or you know at one point we were like okay monday is our day you know we got we, somebody has a show on this day someone has a show on that day we had like a schedule but we made sure that we had time for each other where we wasn't you know just watching youtube or being on you know a panel or something like that so that was really important so after we scheduled that time we did the schedule for a little while but then we we just found a balance we found a balance without the schedule but just admitting that that was important was like the biggest step you got to have time for each other mm-hmm. even yeah. though we you know we're each other, other all day oh, all day oh pretty gosh. much but, but you know, it's gotta be one-on-one quality time. Yeah. yeah quality time no interruptions like i you know i i struggle with that like we live in the same house and we cannot see each other in the same house some days because he's down in the man cave doing his man cave stuff and i'm upstairs doing my stuff 
But then there's those moments where it's this time we got to come together and we got to, you know, do things or remember to go out for a date in between the man cave and what I'm doing upstairs. Um, but I think that speak on that. Like, I think that one of the things that people, especially in this hobby, there are more married people or people who are together than I thought it was when I first came in. I thought I was the oddball when I really got into the breeding side of it anyway. Um, as a pet owner, you see people, typically one have it, one don't. Uh, one people, one person love animals, one person don't. The I was um, thing that you say that is you're evolving. Even now, this is an evolution, Keisha, right? Um, what would you say is the key to you guys just continue to stay strong and become stronger as you evolve through this new celebrity, whether it turns like it or not, this new celebrity? <laughs> Um, I feel like it's, I feel like it's always been like this. Like, I mean, I don't feel like our relationship is any different now that we have, you know, these other responsibilities, like, you know, I'll be messing with the rats. He'll help me. He'll be messing with the snakes. I'll come help him sometimes. <laughs> um, it's, it's just like a, a added layer of what we do. It just feels normal. It doesn't seem like hard at all to balance the whole thing. Like no matter what I was doing, it was always uh, there was always like like I'm a helper. Like I like helping people. So no matter what I'm doing, there's people that feel like they need my help or something. So before the snakes, it was it was I was really like gung ho into my job, and it was oh yeah, and, and I was on retail management, and I made myself chat. accessible to everything. Like my customers, certain they they had my number. Like like yo, what's going on? <laughs> so, uh, I, I I was um, I'm a giver. Like I, I give, I give, I give. But now, I ain't get, I, I give to snakes in in reptile community. So it's like, so she's used to to sharing me somewhat. Yeah, that's why I said you know, at first it was hard for me, but over the years, you know. And I got five kids. Five biological, five biological kids that outside. So she, she, know, and I'm like, I'm, I'm one, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a great father. Fuck that shit. I'm a great dad for real. So, like, my kids are my world. So they, they reach me at any time. So, and, and I, I've been over backwards to, to be there for them, and they're all over the place. So you have five, and Keisha, you have the two, right? But He's got more than five. Yeah, <laughs> well, biological. Yeah, that's what I said, biological. Because I, I, I count more okay. than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that now all of your kids not in Florida, right? Nah. Okay. Like, um, my my oldest, um, he's in he's in Jersey. He's twenty four. He um, he he just graduated college last year. Okay. Um, magna cum laude. He's he's a, he's a little genius. I know that's so, right. And um, uh, my second oldest, she's twenty. She goes to college in Miami of Ohio. And then um, I got uh, my next oldest is Carmelo. He lives down here in West Palm, Palm Beach. He's 15. Then I got uh, my other daughter who lives down here. She's in um, Jackson. Who, she's always with us. We get her every, at least every other weekend. If uh, like stay with her the whole summer and um, any holiday, she's pretty much, she's pretty much lives here. <laughs> and uh, she's 13. And then I have a 12 year old that's in Jersey. Which one is breeding? Uh, greedy. Greedy. Oh, greedy. Oh, oh, all right. So that's that's my step. That's my stepson. He's twenty three. Um, he'll be okay. twenty four next month. So that's my 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 fifteen year old. That's his brother. So like, my my twenty four year old and my stepson was twenty three. I, I raised them both together since they were like six. So okay. they're they're brothers. I'm saying, and I had a um, nice. they had they share they share a brother. My my son Carmelo. So the one that's down here, he's like that's my little mini me. So he breeds. That's where I, I'm always going to West Palm to see him and my other son. So that's that's where I'm always with. So, do, like, do you ever foresee where do you think you're going to go with the actual breeding plans? Like, to for you, is it ever want to do full time? And look, and for those who say they are never want to do full time, great for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going to uh, say to my brother, like, if that's a goal, we're going to make sure you get there. <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely. We're gonna we gonna go full time. Definitely. Um, it's just it's crazy when I started breeding. Like, um, 
I wasn't breeding to like I'm a, I'm gonna have all the snakes. I mean, I wanted there were certain combos that I liked. I was like, oh, I want this, but you know what? I can make that. I can get the greens. So I can make it. I don't want to just necessarily go out and buy it. So then, like, I'm seeing a lot more. So then, damn, my my collection just growing, growing more. Like, you know what? I'm gonna have to sell some of these off. <laughs> so, right. So, like, my my thing is, I don't sell any females, y'all. They, I, no, I don't sell any females, right. so don't ask me. <laughs> but um, males is up for grabs. Uh, I like to keep back um, like whatever male, like whatever snake I, I want to breed, like I'm like looking for. I'm keeping the male version of that in all the females. So I get a, a male version of that. Then the rest of the males will be up for grass and um, no females. So don't even bother wasting your time asking me. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this right here. This is from Riz, which is funny, who is another person who I just think is just incredibly amazing. Team <laughs> can always find the good in someone. Be making me mad. Like I'm trying not to like this person, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> and that's like I play, I always always like like to play peace with yo. It's like everywhere I've been at, you know, it's always like yo, T, like, like, look, nah, like nah. Y'all, yo, I'm gonna take care of this. Nah. Well, I, 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 I love I love solving solving problems too. That's like my, my one of my biggest things. That's a gift I got. I got the ability to just solve problems and so. I, I do want to say real know, quick, off like, topic, shout out to Wiz and Wifey because I love their dynamic as well. Every time you hear him in the um chat, they on a date somewhere. <laughs> they always on a date. Find the time. Wiz, Wiz, Wiz always sneaking off though. He on a date, but he be in the chat. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they find they find the time. Wiz be like, I got my earbuds in. I'm at the movies. <laughs> Too, and you can see which one is which. Wins is like, but his life, like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, like, yeah, you got real together, bro. Real together, bro. <laughs> tell your little friends, tell your little friends, you busy tonight. Exactly. <laughs> Pat was good, bro. 15 minutes in lane. Vote for your boy, Patrick. Hey, now, are we just been talking? I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. You know, this is rough. I've been I've been doing real good. I've been doing real good. But there's so oh, many people in this chat, and I even say what to none of them. Man, I'm just lacking, man. What the fudge brownies, bro? So I'm sorry. It's Keisha Fall. If I ain't shot you out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got to blame somebody. Y'all know what it is. I got to blame somebody. So, um, but yeah, what's goody? All the suspects in the building. What up, Ken? Yes. And look, I'm so behind on the comments. I'm sorry. I'm engaged in the conversation. I am learning new things today. Like, have you, wait a minute. Did you release the video for the newbies? No, nah, not not yet. She um, she was she was, she was editing that. it today. She was she was just she's a probably okay, almost so done. She's almost done. Them. She's almost done. I won't talk about them. Videos to come. Check. It. Stay tuned for the video premiere. Yes, um, yes. But right now, so we know that you know some that yet you have goals, and I would say to Keisha, Keisha has a skill set as well that can work just fine for herself at home as well. Um, so we we want to pray that that dream comes true um, sooner than later. But outside of the, the, the reptiles itself, we know you're building the YouTube plat platform. What is something else that you would want to see? First of all, I'm going to shout out to you and MJ. And I'm going to say that for the record because um, MJ is a lot to swallow for a lot of people. But me and Terrence always talked about in the background. We like the man's grind. Like, he's smart. He's not, you know, he's a very intelligent person. But even still, like, to see that relationship flourish is a great sign of if you humble yourself. Like, if two people humble themselves and come together, like, what great platforms that y'all can create. Your connection with him is creating connections for other people. Um, his connections with you is creating connections for him that would not be seen. And for two people to be um, so in, endowed into this, this this community, that combination, I love to see it. It's crazy. We communicate like every day too, man, which is it's crazy. So yeah, I shout out to MJ. All the time. I think that like it's a great thing to see those two come together. And it's a great sign of what this community could be. So I just want to remind everybody, you know, just as hard as it is, and trust me, I'm the kettle phone, the kettle kettle, but I know I know who to reach out to when I need somebody to talk to that's gonna make me see the light. I'm not gonna like the dog doesn't shouldn't call the dog. I know when to dive into the dark, right? I'm like Wiz, you know, even when I'm yeah. trying, you know, you really want to like see the good of people. And I'm telling you, don't miss your blessings 
on being caught up on um, unseen envy. Because sometimes you can be envious of somebody and don't even know why you're envious of them. Um, yeah. Don't always take someone else's word, man. Don't always take someone else's word. Say it again. Um, don't always take someone else's word. Oh, like, yes. like if I go, I'm, I'm the type of person. I'm going to the source, man. You tell, you tell me somebody says some shit. I'm like. Oh, I don't know. You should have told me that because I'm about to go see what's really good with this. Unless you specifically say, "Yo, yo, lead us." But if you don't tell me that, oh, I'm about to go see what's good with this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that too. Again, like when you talked about, you know, building, you know, see the good in somebody. I mean, that's something that I'm learning. Like, see the good in somebody. You're not perfect yourself. You know that those type of things. Because for a long yeah. time. I didn't have to associate myself with, you know, multiple people um, unless it was people that I grew up with who know me well. People who can look at me and read my face and say, oh, that's how she feels. Like now you're in a community where you have to tell people how you feel because, they, you know, you can be misunderstood, you know. Um, and I think that's very important not in all relationships. Right. But. As we try to, and I know Emilio says this all the time, we want to grow this hobby, we want to grow this hobby. Wouldn't it be great to not hear the stories of what happened, you know what I'm saying, past yeah. time and our times? Like, wouldn't it be great for that new generation that Emilio was talking about to be talking about how awesome the reptile community was, how people actually told him they really could make money because no one told me that years ago. You know, I just was buying snakes and, you know, break, giving them to people, apparently. I yeah. forgot I did that one day. I bought six snakes and just gave them away. Um, ah. <laughs> so, like, just creating this community and educating people on how to be successful entrepreneurs through this. Like, can you imagine them going back and not hearing about the breakup of Brian Barchak and, you know, people who shouldn't have never separated before you know like how what what story do you want that new generation to hear uh -oh. well i feel like if you ask someone who's been in it for you know any long amount of time like it's worlds worlds different than what it was even two years ago three years ago five years ago mm -hmm. ten years ago a whole whole different ball game and the community is a lot more so than what it was. And that's what we want to be a part of. Yeah, we want behind this community right here we're doing. This is right here. How everybody wants everybody to succeed. Mm -hmm. This is this is not a, a me first type of thing. Like this this community that that we are a part of, everybody wants to see stuff everybody else eat. We're um nobody feels like uh you're 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 taking food away from me by doing what you're doing. There's no cutthroat. Nobody's mad at somebody else having a podcast. Nobody's mad at somebody else uh, getting different different um, genes, different snakes, or whatever. It's just everybody wants to see everybody succeed. And this community is real, real dope like that. If we, we go to each other's uh, shows and show support, we go through representing for everybody. This is like, this is the legacy that that this community wants to leave behind for um, future future people coming in saying, oh, so this is how you're supposed to be. How be this is how it's supposed to be done. Uh, like how we are able to have our own lanes and still able to help each other out and, and give each other information and uh, be that air and that um, that just that, that, that voice for, for people. And the thing is, it's very easy for people to, you know, think that it's a click type thing like oh the usual suspects like y'all only care about each other just y'all are family but we still have the whole extended family That's that we love just as on much Friday, we got a usual suspect and we still bring other people on it's, it's not just it's not just all about us it's about bringing other people on and letting them see especially especially people that that people don't don't get to see or people that are like might be shy or or just they got some fire but just don't know how to um to present it, present it. and uh, put them in a nice relaxed atmosphere with a bunch of other people that someone vets with like that we, we've been doing this for a while now other people that have been doing this for years on years on that makes them feel comfortable and give them a, a place where they can hang out with like like-minded people is dope yeah and then i mean for us like i said we 
pretty much in carriage of the people come on like this we'll stay behind so other people can come on the screen yeah yeah mm -hmm. um like for me like i said i look forward to educational like whenever you know we get the heads up that somebody's coming on and oh oh my, oh my god they got this snake they they work with these jeans like you get to learn so much but again it's some of the people that you don't you never hear of and they come on and blow your mind blow your mind like oh wow you got that like man yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like why why don't you like dang why don't you have uh more more like followers and subscribers like dang, you work with that it, it's crazy that you don't people you don't even expect you just like it, it, it's crazy crazy yeah like i said meeting y'all at tilly was so awesome the energy and vibe was so calming and welcoming oh yes sir bro it was fun i'm glad you won i'm glad you won that competition the the contest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like that was so cool. Um, like again, yeah, a lot of want to party with us on, on on Friday though. It's like, right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted, like, again, someone to win that actually was going to want to go. And when I tell you that he made that like evident that he wanted to be there, the the pictures that he took and everything was just absolutely amazing. Um Fred here, but AJ is watching too. He's suffering from brain pain though. Just had to drop um, in and show support. Oh, I hope he's he talking better. about his dad. Wow. We got another Tilly coming up. Yep, March. I don't know. We think March is going to be. I think it's still going to be fun though. <laughs> March is going to be friggin' amazing. It's going to be fun anyway. Um, Whether. The actual show is going to be fun or not. I'm just hoping that people, you know, continue to market their animals, you know, and feel like, you know, just bring in, like, even if it's not for sale, bring in some of their good animals to display. Because that's what I loved about this last October. I think that the animals were remarkable compared to March. So, totally agree with that. Um, I know they always say the October Tinley is better. I mean, and it was amazing, but just once we get there, it's gonna be a party. We're gonna have a good time. So I'm ex I'm excited for March. I am. I want to make it. I want to make both um, a every year thing if we can. All right. Um. So I know that you plan on growing your collections, but where where does that cut off market for you? Like when is that? Like no no more. Oh, right we now, oh, right now, right now, I gotta, I gotta chill. I gotta chill. I gotta right chill. The cut off yeah. So uh, after I move, then yeah, I want to, I want to get a couple more racks, but it's like, man, I got, got a lot of snakes and then I'm getting more snakes too. So it's like, yeah, yeah. you're going to need at least another one or two racks. But I want to, I want to, I want to have a, a lot, as many as, as I can, um, actually like to maintain I, I can i feel like once i'm full time mm -hmm. sh, the sky's the limit yeah um so let's say you're full time what would still be that cut off for you like what is it how many clutches a year that you oh, like, okay mm. you want about 200 yeah i say i say like i say like start. like 200 to start to start. Oh, I'll ease my way up there. Ease my, ease my, ease my way up there. We already about halfway there. No, we're, no. We at eighty. Oh, oh, having snakes. I'm talking about like to actually produce those clutches. Oh, produce, to produce clutches, mm -hmm. not just to have the snakes to do oh, it. Oh, I was gonna say. I'm like, she don't listen. Oh yeah, she. You're gonna need some whole facilities. <laughs> nah, we um. Thing, though, you think any of the kids that's home now would actually want to work? Cause you know, you know, you you can your children can work for you. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, like my 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 son that that's that's starting to breed. He's a teacher. He's a teacher down in West Palm. So okay. but, yeah, but he um he he's serious about it. So he wants to. So in in a few years when I'm ready, like man, you can you can you can help me out when you, when you got time. Cause especially on the summertime, you don't got school in the summertime. Mm -hmm. The younger ones they help. You know, but we'll see when they get a little bit older if they would really, really want to get oh, into it. Oh, I'm sure Zaya would. Oh, definitely. definitely. Um, my daughter yeah. in Jacksonville. Oh, yeah, she loves animals. She always, like, since she was little, like, we always knew that her and animals. So she, um, oh. she, 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 she takes the snakes out. She feeds the rats. She, um, she always picks out a, a rat as, as hers mm -hmm. when we have new ones coming in, um, or born. And, uh, she yeah. picks a new baby out. Uh, her her snake right now, well, the snake that that she 
she like loves the most is actually at Fred and AJ's as a, a breed alone. Okay. Now I know who your favorite breeder is, breeder is, so we're not going to talk about him. That's King Austin for those. It's King people. Austin, yeah, yeah. Outside of King Austin, who's your favorite breeder? Like right now today, I know that changes based on you know years, genes, and things like that. But if you outside of Austin could spend, well, if you spent a day with a lot of breeders already, but yeah. like if there was a breeder who said this, you had an open book to their collection, who would that be? And you can go at any time. Mm -hmm. Damn, it'll be the homie KG Bomb Project. Yeah. You know he ain't been in the game game that that yeah. long, but still, man, he, it'll be KG. I still just don't understand, like even with him and Justin, like they, I haven't been in the game that long, but these animals <laughs> that you have is saying something else. It's saying something totally different. Um, KG definitely has one of my favorite collections. Um. And okay, I that can that can happen though. That's the thing. Like, all right, so it's not like I got just to get the Cali. That's that's the homie. That's a big bro, but still, that's that's who it would be straight up. And if it was one animal, I know what you plan on create, but if it was one animal that you can go and buy today, outside of the the whole list of animals you know, boy, the last week, oh, man, um... look at teacher face. <laughs> He went crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. See, it's like if I could just well, it depends on, on, on what reason though. If it's like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this animal, then I, I'm gonna make money with this animal, then it'll be like um monsoon clown. Okay, so you actually like monsoon. Oh no, no, no. Like I said, if it's to make money. Oh, that's, that's what I, if it's to make money. Like that's that. what I, I'll, I'll get. Like it's it's a dope it's a dope animal and it's gonna make some money. But uh, other than that, um, oh, if I can get that that super form that LC Black Magic that 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 KG got, yeah, because then like he's the only person I know that got that. Would you ever import? A ball python into your collection? Yes, yes, yes. I would definitely do that. Okay. Um, and if you, I love this compare. Oh, pass it. I love this community. You all like my family. I got nothing but love for y'all. Patrick, that dude. Yeah, Pat. Patrick's one of the first people that makes you feel welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's channel. Yeah. Like if you go to their oldest, oldest my video, game. he is there rooting for them and then even to their newest video he's the first one so i got like uh five snakes and big d's he's holding on <laughs> what facility that you haven't visited that you would love to visit oh um it's el cabelcus just from just for hearing these hearing um pat talking and darren last night and miguel it's, it's crazy i want to check it out even though, I, also, um, um, Garrick the Myers, I'm going to see his. Okay. He, definitely going to go see his. Bob invited me to check his out when I come to Atlanta, so one day soon. You're not that. How far is the drive from Orlando to Atlanta for you? It's like eight hours. Um, still eight. Yeah. I don't know. The last time I drove from Florida, it was 14 hours and I was sick and I was mad at Florida. I was just beating through the different states. <laughs> yeah, like, see, she don't <laughs> mind driving like, damn, like, eight hours. Like, oh, man. I love driving. I eight drive hours. eight hours right now. Where are we going? I, I've got my music going. I'm good. I don't mind driving at all. Um, so it works out. <laughs> Richie said, I'm going to lie, get straight up in me is when I see someone showing off something fire that they Man, this Thank man Chad was just talking about he was eating grilled cheese and spaghettios though, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Melinda says she wants to do all ten. Um, I don't know. Like I'm I don't know about Arlington. Yeah. I want to just because I've never been to Texas. I just feel like okay. if I go to Arlington, I might miss out on going to Tinley, and I don't want to miss out on Tinley. One day we're gonna be able to go to anyone, whenever it is. We're gonna be able to, you know, have whoever's gonna be watching our animals, watch our animals. We're gonna be able to get them flights and go. That's 
how it's going to be. Yeah, so that's the hard part of traveling. Um, and that's where the limits have to come because you can leave your animals in people's care, but no one can care for them like you. Like, yeah. and it, it is hard to just like go and not relax. Like you got, I got to FaceTime. Everybody got to go to every cage. I got to check everything in everybody's cage. I got to see it. I got to be able to let them hear my voice and stuff like that. Cause I do believe your lizards um, have to hear your voice constantly to keep them, you know, just, coming to you um so i i'm really big on it so it's it's that's the hard part um it's not even the fact that you have people like i have people my animals are not alone my, my nephew and my son take care of them but i still like can't go to bed i can't go go to sleep without checking in and seeing the animals for myself because you'll see things in your animals sometimes that nobody else would see like and and just let them know so um is there any species of animals? Um, I know you're not even thinking about a retake, but any species that you would want to get outside of ball pythons? Tegu. I want a tegu oh, so bad. That is you so look funny. Big old puppy you said dog. No to a retake. Wait till you get them tegus. <laughs> you said no to a retake. The tegus are the ones they wreck the house. Mm. They're like little dinosaurs for real. Like even in their, the way they move their brain, how they like treat you, like it's crazy. They are fun. I will tell you that it's like having little dogs. But yeah, like a little puppy dog, a scale puppy dog. They take all puppy the dog. energy when they out. <laughs> like I have never, um, the girl is worse than the boy. Like she's way more active than the boy. The boy sometimes can like find his little sweet spot. But the girl will keep you going, and she like she likes that activity. She's like a little puppy. Like I literally got to play little pit bull games with her. GG. <laughs> GG. Yeah, GG is something else. Um, outside of a table. Outside of a table. Mm. You know, like like I always wanted a a monkey. A monkey. So look, yeah. me too. But then I don't remember if you remember the guy in the group. Um, would show the monkeys and then one day the monkey actually went to beat the girl up like just out of nowhere. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I always I wanted, wanted a monkey though. Was a Maybe girl. not so much anymore because they're like having having like a kid. Like I don't want another little kid. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to change his he was deliberate. Like he was beating the crap out of her. And you know they got them crazy hands. Um my 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 daughters, my oldest grandfather used to have a monkey. And I was so scared of him, like so scared. I just felt like he was just gonna zap out, but he was really cute, um, really smart. But sometimes that intelligence ain't good when they, especially when they, you know, they have that human strength too. Um, but yeah, like, I, well, I don't know. Monkeys would be would be kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's just one day I'm gonna get a boy. Yeah, it's like the fear of what's gonna happen if they actually do like zap out. It never goes well. <laughs> it never goes well. Um, if you could do one more thing in this next year, other than breeding and creating your awesome projects that you're going to make that will improve the hobby, what would, where would that be? That's a tough one. Got any ideas? That sounds like something to think about. I like that. <laughs> yeah, like a goal. Yeah, like one more thing, um, because you're actually exceeding your goals. At first, it was getting to 2K, yeah. and that kind of like just, you're accelerating to that already, yeah. uh, which is always fun um, to see, because I think the greatest gifts is the ones that you don't expect. Yeah, I didn't expect to have this many this right now, <laughs> though, for real. Especially not, not this time last year. This time last year, I was still sitting at Three, three something. So yeah, no, so not supposed to four. Yeah, three. I said that three something, three hundred or something this time last year. Say it again. What did you think created that like shift? Like where I didn't think like, oh my god, it just went from here to there. Uh, yeah, hair, hair down, and um, and a a friend, a friend of mine, man, that was like, on on, like when when I first started, like like really pushing, pushing, pushing. I deleted a lot of people from my Facebook page. Oh, okay. a lot of people, like, oh, like, like thousands. Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah. And um, like I and uh, so some people made a cut. There's people hit me. Oh, oh, um, you deleted, you deleted the um, that you deleted. Um, uh, some people hit me. Oh, you deleted me. You deleted me. I'm like, yeah, you don't support me. Get out of my face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I can be cold. So um. 
<laughs> so then uh, one one of my homies that was that was there, that's like, yo, I believe you're gonna do it. Yo, um, I'm riding with you. I bet you, I bet you can get 500 by um by by uh, New Year. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make that a go. And I started like posting, 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 posting like crazy, like like going hard. And then um, that's when I was like, you know what? We we got that that 500. And then I was just like, and it felt so good. And then we had we did. Hair down. Our first episode of Hair Down was like right after we hit that 500, and just started from there like a snowball. Good. YT said, "How many rack houses did you need to feed the collection?" Um, Keisha. Uh, well, we got a bunch. We don't <laughs> even. We don't say we got this many snakes. We need this many rats because the rats they're they're here, you know. Their feeders, we got enough, <laughs> so we don't we don't really rats in the air. Yeah. Show, so it's like we got a lot. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Keisha six. is the reason that I started actually breed mines. I never thought I would be able to live in a house with rats or ASFs, but I will tell you that I love I love them both. Mm -hmm. Me I too. Love the ASFs even more. Um, they I just like the way they act. They act like little like like little gang members. You know, it's like this is my once you get them a, once, you, once you get them to calm down, they're great too. Yeah. Like after a few few um generations, a few generations, they calm down. So right now our ass are good, but you can, you can pull it open and you could just leave it open. They're just they'll yeah, look not, at you. Yeah. They're like, "Are you gonna feed me now or later?" And then they go back. One, but yeah, they go. Before, oh my god, it's it's Russian roulette. Oh Russian roulette. You put your hand in there. You're gonna you're gonna get bit. It's just like who you gonna get bit by and how hard you gonna get bit. And that's people's first. Um, that's their first um experience with ASFs, and they think that that's what ASFs are. No, you gotta breathe they're, out of them. First and foremost, they're animals. They're scared of us. We're predators right. to them. Until exactly. they know that we are not predators, they're gonna act like that. Like when I when I realize they are only being themselves, they are only trying to protect their kids, they're trying to protect themselves. And you have to I grew a respect for them. I grew a respect for them and I gave them their space. And I realized after weeks go by, months go by, after a couple of months, you know, like Terrence said, they're not biting you, they're not jumping out. They know that. I'm going to get them food. They know that we are right. going to clean them. We know that they're, we're going to give them their water. They become content and they, that, that instinct, that killer animal instinct that they had is gone. And get so past once you cannibalism get, phrase too. Well, that. yeah, that happens. Yeah. It doesn't always happen, but it's sometimes that once they get out that phase, once you work through that, ASFs are amazing. Man. Oh yeah, Chad, we still take their babies. And we still say they don't mind. They'll they'll give us their babies like here, and we'll be like, no, and it's so funny. I think Mike was saying it. It's just like funny. I prefer ASS for the reason of the fact when you do have to feed them, they don't make any noise. Oh yeah, no noise. No it's noise. Like so you you don't know. Oh, you, you, you hear you gotta hear the thump. You gotta hear the thump to know that they've been yeah. eating. I order. Did they eat? All right. Did I hear a thump? I, I prefer that. Like I can't take the feeding of the the rats and having to hear the the, the noise, and it's like they just can't go. Where ASFs, even when they know it's about to happen, <laughs> they like just stay there. Life is over. Life is over. It's over. <laughs> I Kurt, much love, brother. Life is over. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. What? So yeah, so I love them. Um, now I wish I could add more, but I like I think I have a sweet spot where I just think that the only thing I don't like about the rats is the cleaning of them. Um, so if I had more, that's going to be like more time. So I gotta like get Michael to love the rats a little more. He loves the ASFs. <laughs> he just doesn't like the and he. I think it's even the big the size of the rats to him is intimidating. But they're actually sweet. They sweet too. Oh yeah, though. Once yeah, once they're like like that big too, they they've been they've been they've been, they've been, they've been around. <laughs> they like all right. When they're young, I call them teenagers. <laughs> when they're young and they are running around, jumping, Hanging they're cra they're down. crawling upside down on the uh, mechanics cloth that a <laughs> rack that we built. When they get older and they're they're just like you know, hey, they're they're cool after they get a certain age. Once they get chunky, so. So all the phases, all the phases are cool. 
you're too old and I have to feed you because I I'm 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 struggling with one female right now, but I just can't feed her. Why is she like, cute? No, I just she's one of the original ones. Like, oh, like, oh, oh no, she, she has a name. She got to die off. Name. Let her die off. We, we <laughs> at first we were naming them. We had Cisco. Oh yeah. We had oh, Cisco's yeah. protege, which Cisco's is funny because we never gave him his own name. He was Cisco's protege. Because he was food. Until... He was food at first, but he kept he kept surviving. It's like nobody <laughs> three times in a row. Nobody wanted to eat him, so it was like, all right. I... Oh, we put him in there with the, it was a two two females, one male. We threw him in there, what and then the females up. were beating him up. And <laughs> yeah. Cisco kind of like took it, the, the male. He took, um, him under his wing. took him under his wing, and then he grew up to be bigger than the two oh, yeah. females, he and he is, started you. beating him up. It was, <laughs> yo, goes, it was such it. a cool experience yeah, yeah. doing that for the first time. Like, we really got to know those, you know, rats, all of them. They were named Grace. I remember when Grace passed, I was oh, sad. Yeah. Grace was such a sweet, sweet girl. Xena was a oh, warrior. Yeah, you know, oh my yeah, god. I've been oh bit god. by Xena a bunch of times. <laughs> it took her a few months to stop biting me, but once she did, Xena was cool. Um, it's just a really great experience, honestly. It's not just food. Like I it's, agree. It's, 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 if you can do it, if you have the room, if you have the time, it sure saves money. Um, I recommend it to, to anyone who can. Um, and Keisha will one day put together the red, red video. <laughs> one day, one day. One That's going to be like the five year okay. anniversary <laughs> video. Yeah. That video is going to get y'all to three grand, the three K in a heartbeat. Right, Everybody right, right. Everybody waiting for this video. By, that time, by the time I do the video, it's going to be like a Scorsese type. Oh, uh, she got, all, she got, she got so much. She's gonna have so much amazing. equipment. Yeah, so much equipment too. It's here. gonna be, yeah, it's gonna have explosions. <laughs> yeah. So wait well, on. It's easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, literally. You oh yeah, we talked to Homie Wolf too, and he's successful at it now. Yes, it's so no, what what I'm I'm doing. Doing. they want to breathe. That yeah, and and I would tell you, it's funny. Um, I feel like with the. ASS, once they start breeding, it's always like a bunch of them, always different sizes. Um, but again, I just like their behaviors. They are very protective and they, mm -hmm. I like how when you know new babies are under a hide because the mother or the father sits on top, kind of like sits on top of the hide and the mother's down there, you know, you can mm -hmm. see her feeding. I'm like, it's just so cool. Animals are better parents than some humans yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they, they all take care of each other they all be like they all yes. so big like man you only about three months older than that now you're gonna try to take care of that other uh road and they be sitting on time exactly what i was gonna say as far as the difference between the asfs and the um norwegians the asfs when the babies like you just got weaned and you over here licking on the babies trying to keep them clean like you're a baby yourself what are you doing but right. you know the Norwegians, they crawling all over. Each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, got food, got food, got food, got food, got food in there. They all over each other. Like, you get the, the the family dynamic of the ASFs is really Man, cool to see. It is. I love it. I love it. Um, and I literally, I just go in there sometimes and just and just watch them. Like that one video that I did with them, that one reel. Like literally, that was just me watching them and just doing the reel, and then it was just like they actually. Just came out more because I was standing there and like just gave it more of a show, but I love them. Um, so I'm gonna ask Keisha first, and then this one is gonna be for Terrence. No H. No H, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I didn't have to look. I knew exactly what you were talking about. <laughs> I was um, talking to Terrence about that the other day that people have names. I've been, I've been doing that since I was a kid, yo. It's crazy. Like people, um, people would, would, would they would introduce themselves. To, oh, you the one that gives out the nicknames? Yeah, give me a nickname. Like, <laughs> all right, so your name is Slap, and it's like Slap is still called. Like, just be making stupid shit up. <laughs> it sticks, man. It sticks, it sticks. It sticks. Like, and it fits. It fits. It sticks because it fits. Oh my like the people's names. <laughs> You didn't even right, long so, them out, too. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, what were you about to say? You had a question. My bad. Yep, this is going to be Keisha's question, and y'all's is going to be a little different from everybody else. Oh, no. <laughs> She's, oh, no. <laughs> I was so, not ready. I didn't study. This is, this is, this is, of course not. I can't just, like, come on now. 
y'all already know. Y'all probably seen every episode of Reptiles and Cocktails. I gotta switch it up. So Keisha, <laughs> five-year-old Keisha. Think back to five-year-old Keisha. Mm -hmm. What was the best part of five-year-old Keisha's life? I even then I loved art. I loved it. Like I even I tell my my daughter sometimes she's so much like me that I would just I remember some of my happiest times were taking a piece of plywood because I didn't have a desk and you know up north you got the um, heaters the not like the just the heaters and sitting there and looking out my window and just drawing drawing for hours coloring for hours like I damn I would do that I would sit there and do that right now but five-year-old Keisha just drawing coloring art Barbie dolls all that bull that was what I did sometimes but just the art like I had a love for it very 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 early so that was um a very very happy time just summer and drawing okay so are you familiar or what would you say is your primary love language my love language that I like for myself or like I like to do? Um, that you like to do. Like, so what, what Terrence says your primary love language is? Um, I know it's quality time, mm -hmm. gifts, acts of service. Um, there's a, I can't remember what they all are, but. Quality time, acts of service, gift giving and receiving. I honestly like to do all of them, all of them, not all the time, but like right. um, quality time, I'd say. Quality time. What about you, Terrence? Um, let me start with what is your, what did the five-year-old Terrence love the most at five? Five-year-old Um. Seeing my mom. So, like, uh, my mom had me young. She was um, 15. So, she, um, after high school, she went to the service. And okay. after the service, she went to college. So, I didn't see my mother as often as, like, most people got to spend time with their with their parents. So, it was, like, whenever I, I got to see my mom. Like, it was crazy. You know, it's, like, this is real, real, real. I used to, like, pray every night. Let me see. Um, let, me, <clears throat> let me see my mother again before I die. As a little kid, that was my prayer every night. So wow. spending time with my mom. And see, that's another thing um, that I learned from you or started to appreciate more. Um, my mother's always been around. Like, and I've never was the daughter who always had to see her. I was like that with my dad. And so after my dad died, it's almost like I, I punished my mother. You know, like the love, feeling that pain of losing your dad. Like, although you're my mother... I, we ain't gotta be that close like I was with my dad. Like it was really hard. So my mom lives the closest to me. And so like literally talking to her more on the phone, just saying I love you because that's not her love language. You know, my mother has never been a, a word of comfort. That's the one of one of them Keisha's words of comfort. She's never been my mom was always that's where that hardness comes from me. My morality comes from my father think things out morally. My mother was like, get over the shit. You know, you, you lose your boyfriend, what the hell life goes on? You know, I never had that, oh, poor daughter relationship from my mom. So as we got older, I didn't feel the need. That's, you know, my father was that person I called at top time. So now mm -hmm. like, as she's getting older and like seeing like, my mom is just so incredible, but she's 72. Like, and you know, the reality of it is, is that she's not gonna always you know, be here. So she let us, I call her more now turns than I ever did. And she always like, what about you love me so much more? Like that's my mother. <laughs> that's so, that's so. <laughs> like, yeah. Now don't, don't get me wrong. If something happens, she's the first one here. Like literally like she's a great mom. She just never been, we were raised with just the reality of the world. Like, and I think that's what prepared us a lot of, a lot of things, for things too. Like my mother didn't make you, she, that made it clear that the choices you're going to make are going to be what you're going to end up with in life. And if you make bad choices, that's going to be on you because I ain't going to be able to mother you out of them. Um, so I will say that that's like one of the things that I also learned from you, like uh, valuing that a little bit more because it wasn't until 
somebody else said it to me one day because my mother do group text messages and this might have been this time last year and I hate group text messages and somebody say one day you're going to wish your mother fired off a group text message and you know and it made me think things you know through perspective so now I just ask her can you just not send it before 7 a.m like that's <laughs> crazy. crazy please mom um so and Terrence, what would you say? You you probably covered this already. What would you say is your primary love language? Uh, communication, quality time, and um, just. You said physical touch. I like that too. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one on top for me. I like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that. He knows. <laughs> Physically touch her. <laughs> she was like, I said, put that on the list. How can I forget? Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's so funny. Um, mine's is definitely quality time. And I always um that's why I love my husband so much. It's he's acts of service. But for me, to balance us out, he had to learn that you can do all the acts of services. Like I, I date NBA players before, you know, I, you can do all the acts of services you want. Like if you ain't here, I ain't going to be happy. You ain't going to get the same life. Right. And so like to hear and let him still be that person, because that's big for him to do things for me, to just surprise me and stuff like that. And I hate surprises. I used to always say that to him. I hate surprises. I hate surprises. It was with Jada Pinkett. I don't know if y'all have seen this episode that, Will tells the story when he tried to give her, I think it was her 50th birthday party, and she just got so mad at him, and she just was, like, so disgusted about it, and she said to him, this party was for you. It wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. But he got joy out of giving her the party, so mm -hmm. she was too selfish to think about him. And, like, what I love about relationships, not just your marriage, but any relationship, the relationship with your children or anything, when you can have that awakening and realize that this is going to be a moment that either you're going to be stuck in your ways or you're going to get better. Terrence knows this is one of the things I struggle with people. When you see these things happen and you don't try to get better, like you just, we, we can't stay stuck in our ways. Mm -hmm. Like we have to learn from every part of life. And when I think about marriage or any relationship, the only way those those things is last that you have to choose to love that same person who changes a thousand times over the period that you guys want to spend eternity together over and over and over again. That's in friendships as well. We're not the same people today that we're going to be tomorrow. There are days that I don't want to talk to nobody and days that I can have a full conversation, you know, um, two things have to happen. People have to recognize that's you, that's who you are, mm -hmm. and you have to recognize that that's them and that's who they are. So it's okay to sometimes to check out and check away to come back together to keep things going. And I think that's what we have to um, take out of any episode of um, Hair Down Fridays, um, Balls and Things, um, your interactions period, um, I say on stage and off stage, because one thing I can honestly say, because I know the both of you on stage and off stage is y'all the same. Like you're not fronting for the camera right here. And then back here, you're telling me something else. Like I know when, like if I, if there was ever sometimes where somebody I, I should not deal with, I would know because you simply would be like, no, like no sis, no extra no this, no that, or whatever. Um, but I think, too, that you you having the ability to uh, share yourself the way that you do. Because I'm telling you, it would get on my nerves. Like, I am not the person. Like, everybody, y'all, is not supposed to be the leader, right? Um, in every scenario. I was a great leader in property management. But even then, I can pick and choose when I had to deal with people, do like when I can respond to people. When you are managing all of these groups, and as y'all can see, I have canceled myself out of several because I just, it, it's too much for me. Like, I'm still, I'm, I'm you know, we ain't turns, we older. Like, it's too much social media for me yeah. um, sometimes. But when you the person who creates the group, right, and then people, not only is the chat, and then people got to individually have individual sidebar conversations. Yeah, yeah. a lot I of individual so conversations. Seven o'clock, like, how? <laughs> 
like for me that I just thank you because again it has to go to your passion is your passion. And, so, and you know what? A lot of people in the group and they 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 we 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 talk we talk and they're like look like I like how you handle that situation and like I'm glad that you you able to to take care of that like like I like, know they they say they don't envy like yo I know you got to deal with a lot but but it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the thing is I, I like I like I like people and I like being I like being able to do it. I, I'm in a position to do it. But the way, the way my mind works, the way it's like I'm capable. Of, it's not like it's hard, hard work, but it's just like I right, you got to you got to word things the right way. You got you got to cater to egos and everything. You got to. Yeah, and we all have them. Like so that's the funny thing. Like we all have them in their moments, some more than others, but. Again, like it's still a place. It's still it's still a little love bubble, you know. We get on. It, um, it, everybody's got different personalities, man. It's still so yeah. it is. It is what it is. But every so but every there's called. still there's, there's a common goal in mind with everything. It's still once you 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 know that I right, until it's to a point where it's just like or something that's just like yo we ain't even touching that or you know like leave like you know you'll say it like it's oh like, yeah oh yeah 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 I got it some stuff just got dead it just got dead it all right we know, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you yeah. in the group chat because I'll like be reading a thread and I'll be like Lord Lord Lord, Lord. I'm the, da, 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 and I don't and then you come in and you say everything I was thinking <laughs> but you say it in such a diplomatic way when it needs to be diplomatic or yo chill, yeah, chill out I type way when it's time to do that like it's always like perfect so I appreciate you coming in when it's time and like all right all right now yes <laughs> sometimes you know we all like again us being just the two women in there you know um sometimes we gotta like tap into our testosterone because we got some of yeah. it too um to be in it for me i'm the older one believe it or not so it's like sometimes i gotta come in like the big sister you know or i might pull somebody over to the side in a whole different conversation but that's it's definitely, definitely like me. auntie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I'm coming here. Um, but yeah, I, I but that's one of the things that I love about it as well, though. Um, and then oh Gershon said, Oh, Keisha answered you. So Gershon, it's called the five, the five primary love languages. I always said that's something I learned with my kids. And honestly, like Jada and Michael are night and day. And sometimes as parents, we try to raise our kids with the same love language that we think works for us. And each person has an individual love language. So it's really good to read and apply it in your marriage and with your children as well, because you will find that once you start loving, like some parents think that giving their children everything is love. I was one of those parents, you know, being a single mother, I'm going to make sure they have everything that they need. And then to find out when my daughter gets grown, when she had her episode, no, I wanted your quality time. Mm -hmm. Right. And you think that you, you got it down packed. We read this book. But I never tapped into what my children's love language was. Like Michael's is acts of services. Michael will do anything for his. He he is my takeoff mama. He'll do anything for his mama. Mm -hmm. Jada, on the other hand, because of the fact that she feels as though you know she didn't have the quality time, she just had things. You know, she's caught up into this. That's what she's caught up into now. Like it's like just just do this for me, do that for me. You know that quality time thing she outgrew, but that's the thing that hurt her most of her life. So I share it with everybody. Read that book because you can apply. We spend so much time reading books like that to apply them to our spouse, and at the end of the day, our children who we raise oh, all our lives. They don't. We don't stop raising them even when they're sixty. If we're still around, we're still gonna be raising our kids. That's what we need to know. So. There you go, girl, Sean. So, thank you um, both. Sir. If anybody else have any questions in the chat or comments that you want to make, absolutely, please, please follow Keys Constrictors on Instagram first, um, YouTube, absolutely. Um, normally, if you find, I don't know, I think it's something you did, Keisha. If I put my playlist up, y'all playlist, we go back to back. I don't know if y'all, if, if anybody else does that. So find out what Keisha did because. If, if I'm watching Keys Constrictors and hair down goes off and I'm not watching it on like my studio YouTube, if it's a public channel, it immediately goes to one of my videos. And then it, it, I think it also goes to um, Gershon's too, maybe um, AJ. So I don't know what Keisha did, but it automatically happens. I don't know if YouTube knows that there's, or whatever. Yeah, there's two different ways. 
okay. to set it to um, the most likely um, video that your audience would like, or you can okay. set like separate ones. Okay. So depending, I'll set sometimes if it's if it's on a topic or something, we'll set it on you know a previous show or a previous playlist. Uh, but yeah, it depends. Ours just rotation, just usual suspects. Love it. <laughs> um, and then of all, of course, jo join the um different tiers in the community. And again, like I believe in, and and I say this publicly, the people don't realize the work that goes into YouTube doing these lives. Like Terrence get up at five o'clock in the morning, go work, and come home, and still gotta hang out with us on Wednesdays and Fridays. And people should be compensated for their time. Um, people talk about YouTubers and, you know, making money from it. It's it's a channel, like, right? <laughs> it's a channel. These people could be doing anything else they want to do, and they're bringing it, making sure they dedicated to bring the community together at those times. Um, I'm thankful, and I'm just going to say this, for everything that you've done for the community, I think that definitely is it's a, a huge shift. I am thankful that you allow your queen to share that space with you uh, without any ego, I think a lot of men need to see the example of that, especially in our community. And I love that. And I absolutely love how there is nobody in our community that you see less than the next. It's no black hair down Sundays, Fridays. It's no green hair down Fridays. This is the community's place and community's mm -hmm. bubble to come, to display their animals, showcase their personalities, Become a part of a community. Um, I just ball fights on breeders. Yeah, ball fights. I mean, I learned so much. Like, and then again, just outside of the chat, you know, to be able to ask additional questions of so many people. Like, Emilio is going to be on. Um, I don't know why he's on new breeders, but he's going to be on new That's breeders. That's the same thing. On Monday, this man been doing this for fifteen years, and he got some animals over there. You know what I mean? He gets, like, he gets everybody that that title, man. Will the world was new breeder on the block. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we, you know, be there and support our brother on New Breeders on the Block. That's a great 9 p.m. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. on Monday. But first, but first, before that, before that, at 8 a.m., come back here oh, that's right. that's for right. Peas in the Podcast. Right. Two, two of them. Podcast. Two Peas in the Podcast. We're about to run down everybody else, though. We're forgetting. <laughs> um, <laughs> Then we have, wait a minute, AJ um, tomorrow, AJ Epic, yeah. which I'm telling you, like, guys, I love that that whole show. Wake and bake with snakes. Wake and bake it with snakes. I mean, it's so cool. And then we got Crab's um, Brew. Crab comes on at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> Again, just support each other. Sometimes it's hard. I got to jump in and out myself, but I love doing it. Um, sometimes I got to play one here and one there and I just pick the one that I'm, you know, going to focus the most on verbal <laughs> and then I can just read the chat on the other, but that's how we love each other here. Um, so I'm Stop through, throw a like in there. Exactly. Exactly. Everything that you do down for supporting the sponsors, the shouting out, making sure everybody else shout out, you know, each other. Creative names more, another mm -hmm. brother, you mm -hmm. know, but you created a great community and I appreciate you all. I appreciate all the usual suspects. Um, I appreciate all of you guys for just supporting me as you do and continue to support the Keys family and just watch us all, you know, just do some amazing things. Support I everybody. Everybody, just support everybody. It ain't gonna kill you. Both are still alive. Bosa is <laughs> yeah, both are still alive. Both is just so much support. You'd have thought he, man, if support was was a, was a killer, Bosa would not be here. So learn no, from Bosa, man. Support. support. All right. So with that said, we're gonna say bye to everybody in the chat and give my brother his Saturday back because we take up all the other days of his week. I'm just so mm -hmm. glad to have him here and very specifically on this thankful Saturday after Thanksgiving. Because yeah, yeah. this man has been amazing for all of us. So definitely follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything that they do. Um, and just keep watching the glow up. Remember it today. Remember it today because you know we talked this five years now for the next Thanksgiving one. 
it's going to be a whole different level for all of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure that we remember Crazy. those who was there with us and bring up everybody else that we possibly can with us as well. And those of you who are ahead of us, like Emilio, who's not new breeder, but new breeder, um, just continue to support and deposit into us and make sure that we get all that we need to be as successful as he is as well and all of our family. So thank you all. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Call your mother. Yes, call your mother. You know, <laughs> I love that. <laughs>